Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Pisces. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Pisces Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Pisces, we ask some, um, some questions here to the cards um, so that it can flow and maybe your question will be answered. So the first question now um, is, will Pisces find new love? And we have the Eight of Cups. This is a specific no card, okay? And it's no for some very, uh, and it's your card, okay? Um, it's the, uh, what, um, first, first Deacon Pisces, February 19th 20, through the 28th, I believe. Um, so we've got no, we got no because um, you need to abandon something. You need to abandon some situation here. You already feel abandoned, okay? Um, you need to analyze what's going on here. You need to have some self analysis in terms of your relationship and some cycle that you have been in. You're looking for answers right now. Um, and what you really need to be devoting your time to some spiritual growth. Um, you need to be on that journey to discovery. Okay. Um, this is going to be a big emotional decision for you to, um, in this cycle but it says that the current cycle is over okay um you need to start this trip into the unknown and it might even be an unknown length of time that you're wondering that you're traveling through that you're on this spiritual journey here this card talks about finishing up and walking away okay you feel drained anyway um by a specific relationship because it looks like you're already in something so it's saying no to new love because that's the question we we asked, um, and the no is because you need to you need to leave, and this is leaving covertly. It's not a big, loud "I'm leaving, I'm done." It's you know just finishing up and moving on. Yeah, it's like leaving by ritual, you know, like let me do this and let me do that and let me finish this up and like, I said I was going to do this, I said I was going to do that, I said I was going to be here for this. And then I just need to go, okay? Um, you just need to accept that, you know, something is not working and that you put a lot of energy into something and right now you need to walk away. You need to take your power back. And that's what this person is doing. The red robe or red stands for power and he's taking his power with him and leaving the cups behind. Um, You've already felt loneliness in a, in a particular situation and you have some abandonment issues. And it seems as if the abandonment issues are coming because, well, I'll get there. So clarifying the eight of cups, which is no to new love. And you know why we went through all the reasons why um, is the nine of cups. It seems as if, if you walk away and you go into this unknown journey, you will um find new love you'll find what you think you want okay um your dreams will come true you'll realize your dreams they will be real for you you'll be in a lot of you have a lot of joy fulfillment positivity uh, maybe even self-confidence or self-esteem will come back um you could just celebrate and have pleasure and be in that very sensual pampering type of energy maybe even some fame or, or some acclaim to your name or to you um, you could also experience, you know, little luxury here. Um, and for some of you, some good sex. So walking away from something that is not working, is going to get you to the nine of cups, which is great. Okay. And emotional stability too, all by yourself because the nines talk about self and, um, solidarity and, um, singular you, you're by yourself. So, um, that's good to know. Um, let's talk about how your person is viewing you, whomever you come into the reading for, whomever you've got a gripe with, whomever you're going through, whatever it is you're going through with, this is how this person is viewing you. They're viewing you as courtship. So they're dating you, you're dating them. Um, the relationship hasn't gone to actually having a title 
or it may be a title that actually matters because somebody is not honoring the relationship here. Um, your person, um, think, let me plug my computer in for it does. Um, your person feels as if, uh, geez, hang on guys, plug this in. All right, so your person can feel as if you're a bit clingy with the imprisonment card or you're, you lock yourself up in your mind and your emotions and your head um, because you're not getting your manifestation here. You're not getting what you want. You're not real. Your dreams are not being realized in this connection, in this relationship. It's, bego it's become stagnant, stuck, maybe even toxic here. Somebody is clinging, clinging on for the, to the relationship to the other person for dear life. It's almost as somebody knows that something is, you know, at the beginning of the end or it's possibly ending. Um, your person is viewing you as um, anticipating their every call, their every communication, um, waiting just waiting for things to turn over, waiting for thing, waiting for you to have what it is you want, waiting for this cycle to end, waiting for you to be, for them to make you happy or to give you something or to stabilize the relationship. It just seems as if the person, your person feels like you put a lot of uh, onus, a lot of responsibility on them and not really um, take, you're, you're not really taking responsibility for your own self and your own happiness and your own life and you're clinging and you're holding on to and you're all locked up in your mind, in your head, in your thoughts about this relationship. Um, you overthink it um, only because you're not getting what you want. So this is how your person views you. How you view your person is the, um, these two came out together. It's only supposed to be one card, but um the main female and the privileged lady. So usually your person is having a choice between the wife and the side chick. I don't know what side you're on. I don't know who you are in this equation, but you view, view your person as needing to make decision here. Okay. And you, you view them as, um, conflicted in their decision. All right. You view them as maybe liking a lot of attention. They love the attention of having two, maybe beautiful women or um, affluent women, you know, after them, just having the attention all together, you view them as that, or this is how someone views you Pisces. I don't know. It can all be vice versa. Um, yeah. You view this person as dividing their time, their energy between you and someone else. You view this person as giving the title to somebody else and maybe not giving it to you. I don't know which side you're on. The energy between the two of you is uh, community and thief. Okay. Community and thief. Um, so you feel like your person's friends help them get away with stuff. Help them cheat. Lie deceive you, swindle you. Um, you also feel like your person has found some type of, um, yeah, they go out to social events and they hang out with friends, maybe even family. You feel like the family doesn't like you or you feel like the friends or the family or whomever, they help this person lie to you. Everybody is in cahoots in terms of keeping you deceived, keeping you in a deceptive energy, keeping you in the unknown. Um, you also feel like this person is lying to you about their family or about if they're going to leave their family or stay with their family or how somebody is or how a feminine energy is or what they're creating here in terms of their community. Um, you, you feel like this person is uh, keeping you as a third party and that's all, you know, that's all that they want from you. That's all that they have to give. This is their intention. You just feel like you have been swindled. You've been bamboozled, uh, lied to. Um, the wool has been pulled over your eyes. You can't be, play the victim here or you cannot. I don't know, you know, but this is how you feel or this is the energy between the two of you. The advice here for you, Pisces, is um, the ace 
the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Wands. You could definitely be dealing with a fire sign. Uh, Sagittarius coming up. And then Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, so you you need to take action in terms of be motivated, take action, throw your head in the ring, be up for the challenge in terms of um, identifying, speaking about the problems in your connection. Something needs to be examined here. Also, you need to understand that maybe you need to take action in terms of ending this karmic. Sometimes the Ten of Wands can talk about karmic connection. Um, and it's the karma that you, you bring about for yourself here. It's not the devil um, here. It's more so the karma that um, that we make for ourselves in this lifetime. So you need to put a close, a psych, uh, close to this. Also, you this victimhood or this victim mentality, um, or this strife or this collapse or this... Um, this feeling burdened by this, you need to release it, okay? Because it seems as if there was something in this connection that always needed to be examined. So to take on the victim mentality is um, kind of false and, and in a sense because you knew that there was something always here or you knew that something wasn't right and you decided to overlook it for whatever reason and you decided to stay in it for whatever reason. So take the victim mentality out. Also, it'll help you heal faster too. Um, take responsibility for the part you played in this, you know, willingly, um, unwillingly, just knowingly or unknowingly, you know, um, and so you can move forward. It's not about releasing this other person from responsibility for doing whatever they did to you or whatever they are doing to you. But it's about saying, you know, I'm stronger than this. I'm more than a conqueror. I am not a victim here. Um, I can get past this and get through this because your relationship is at a make it or break it time here. Um, you already have suspicion of infidelity or there's suspicion of infidelity with someone's partner, maybe a Libra coming up here. Um, someone has this inkling, this intuition that something is going on um, and someone is thinking about the future and they're gonna start bringing in uh, rules, regimen in terms of the future and how things will be, how they will be in the future or what they or what will not be um this is a temporary break right now you also could somebody could be on a temporary break from you because of the, the privileged lady the main woman she put a stop to this she put it into this person coming to you could be an emperor here and then the high priestess yeah there's definitely a um, side chick main woman side chick and then here's the wife the queen of swords here who put a stop to all of this here so um pisces this is your reading do expect an unexpected message or maybe even money coming to you if you know that's the nature of your relationship with this particular person but definitely an unexpected message coming to you it looks like you are expecting it anyhow you have been patient patiently waiting you're all wrapped up in knots in terms of talking to this person seeing this person it looks like everything is on their terms anyway um And if it's not unexpected message, do unexpect, expect the unexpected. All right. Um, you might have to walk away in order to get what you want here, says the cards. But is, is it really what you want? Um, all links are below. Oh, and we don't want to end. We don't want to forget this. Uh, the soulmate card here, it says, um, stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. So if you are putting yourself down, if you're putting yourself in an energy of depression, um, low self-esteem because you've been put in this type of competition, um, side chick, uh, main woman, but knowing about another woman type of energy, don't beat yourself up about it. This is not your issue, okay? Um, but anyhow, if it resonates, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Go to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Pisces. Many blessings to you.